protests are happening, and thank goodness for Democracy Now! and other independent news outlets for even uh, giving coverage to this so people know. Yesterday, there was a demonstration of four to 500 teachers right in the middle of Rio de Janeiro. Uh, they were protesting uh, for basically for their co-workers who went on strike in protest against FIFA and the World Cup priorities, uh, saying we want FIFA quality schools. Their co-workers who went on strike were actually fired, which is a violation of Brazilian law. So 500 teachers were marching behind a banner that said FIFA go home, demanding that uh, their co-workers actually be rehired. There was no violence at the end of this demonstration, fortunately, yet in Porto Alegre, in Sao Paulo, as you reported, uh, there, there was violence put on by the police. I mean, there is so much police pressure on demonstrators right now, uh, whether it's mass arrests, whether it's the use of concussion grenades, whether it's the use of tear gas, and as we've also seen, even the use of live ammunition. And what's so ironic about all of this is that at the same time, you see behind me the Maracana. Yesterday, uh, 75 uh, Chilean fans uh, rushed the stadium, knocked down the gates, and actually damaged all sorts of property. And they were, they were just let out, and they've been asked to leave the country in the next three days, while demonstrators who don't do one-tenth, one-one-hundredth of the property damage that took place at the Maracana uh, have been subject to all sorts of physical and torment. Uh, and Dave, obviously, these protests uh, will not end when the World Cup ends, because in, in another two years, there is going to be the Olympics, and there's more construction planned, isn't there? Absolutely. Uh, just yesterday, I was at a favela called Villa Autodromo. Uh, I had visited there two years ago. It was the home of 500 families. Now it's the home of 350 families. The great crime of Villa Odromo is that they happen to be next door to what is going to be the Olympic Village. Ten yards away, the Olympic Village is being constructed, and here is this favela that has been there for decades. And when I went there, I, I was prepared to see one out of every three homes destroyed, which is what I saw, and it was a very upsetting thing to see. What I didn't expect to see was the fact that many of the trees had been uprooted from Villa Autodromo. What I didn't expect is people telling me that the trash had not been collected uh, and that streetlights were only on sporadically. Uh, one of the residents there described it as psychological torture being put on the favela by the city to encourage them to move or accept payouts and leave so that whole area can be developed for Olympic construction.